What is good, you guys? This is Steven with All Talk On, and today we have a PC build, full PC build for the most part, at least everything you're going to need to actually sit down and game. I will not be including things like headset, speakers, chair, or computer desk, because that's on your own to figure out what fits best for you with different ear shapes, um, different levels of noise you can have, say you live in a small apartment, as well as the computer space that you can use for a desk. So honestly, as well as the shape of your ass or whatever what kind of chair you want that's all on personal preference but i will be including things like a mouse keyboard a monitor and of course windows 8 and this is a build coming in at a total of hold on let me do a little math 110 140 um plus 70 610 dollars so our original full just for our little pc we're looking at 410 dollars and 91 cents and then you add that to the cost of the mouse and keyboard for another 30 for 440 add that to the monitor for 110 for 550 and then add an extra 70 dollars for our version of windows 8 that i found on sale for a total of sorry 620 i forgot to add that extra 10 bucks from the pc build but overall like i said for just the gaming computer we are looking at a 400 dollars gaming pc and it is pretty intense for 400 bucks it will definitely get the job done definitely get you playing some games um, but I'm doing this a little bit different than I usually do I'm gonna basically I have everything up in links on exactly where you need to buy them this will not be based on the um, overall just you know what I mean looking at the the standard uh, PC parts uh, picker list but for the first thing up we have the Intel Pentium G3258 dual core 3.2 gigahertz processor um, and very much overclockable with very low heat as well as very low power consumption this thing is a monster um, for its price tag um, right now I have it opened up at outlet PC for $64.98 so $65 can have you this PC which is an awesome buy I only paid $63 for mine um, sales variate a lot you guys but I just wanted to show you guys right now this is my little holiday build that I'm doing for a full build so for $600 um, you can get yourself into some gaming and people are like, oh, well, consoles only cost three or four hundred. Well, factor in the price of your TV, jackass, and, you know, stuff like that. So I am factoring in the price of the monitor as well as the keyboard and mouse. So I'm factoring all that crap in. So, you know, factor in stuff like that with your TV and your night, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You're going to be looking at around the same price, you know, maybe a little more for the PC, depending on the type of TV you want. But like I said, Intel Pentium processor. Um, it supports memory up to 1333 megahertz or depending on your motherboard if your motherboard will allow you to push the um, RAM a little bit further you might be able to get it to 1400 megahertz maybe even 1600 megahertz but usually that's only with Z branded motherboards but like I said a very nice processor we're looking to overclock this to at least 4.0 to 4.4 depending on what your chip will let you do because every individual chip is different but on the stock cooler you should be able to hit 4.0 I would hope. Um, but, you know, like I said, it it does vary. And for an extra 20 bucks, $15, you can get yourself a Hyper TX3 um, cooler by Cooler Master, which definitely does a great job. I had mine up to 4.6 gigahertz on a TX3 cooler, no problems at all. Um, and if you guys want to go overkill, you can get a water cooler. And I mean, that water cooler dropped my temps from 77 degrees all the way down to 64 and 65-ish. So, I mean, that's definitely a nice help. But yeah, like I said, you guys, we're looking to get about 4.0 to 4.4, which will definitely have you killing it in games on this dual core. Next, we have the motherboard, and we are at mwave.com, and they have the Ace Rock H81M-HDS LGA1150 socket. It's on the H81 chipset, and uh, it supports RAM speeds um, uh, up to 1600 megahertz. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this will let you push your RAM to that 1600 megahertz. It might only let you hit 1333 or 1400, but regardless, um, you won't really see any difference in it. So don't let that scare you, you guys. It, it's really not going to make a difference, um, especially in your gaming performance. You really won't see anything. Now, overall, this motherboard just has some pretty damn good features for the price. And, you know, we just can't argue with it. We're looking at a price of $54.99. Originally, I did want to go with the... Uh, 
motherboard by Asus, the H81D Plus motherboard, because I do have an H81 motherboard by Asus, an H81 Plus motherboard, and I was able to boot up at 4.8 gigahertz, um, and then able to stabilize it at 4.6, and then I dropped back down to 4.5, um, just for voltage and temperature reasons, as long as, or as well as, uh, reliability stuff, but this will definitely, um, from some of the things I have been reading up on it, it is definitely gonna be able to push you up to um, that roughly that 4.4 to 4.6 gigahertz if you get an aftermarket cooler um, and it's just overall a great motherboard we're looking at USB 3.0 plugs um, a handful of SATA 3's which is 6 gigabit per second then we have two SATA 2 ports um, as well as it comes with two rear facing on the IO um, 3.0 USB ports as well as four USB 2.0 you know your audio and microphone jacks as well as your ethernet and your ps2 um, keyboard and mouse cables so that's basically the motherboard not much to go into it's gonna get the job done for this budget build definitely will next we have the RAM we have the a data XPG version 1.0 8 gigabytes 2 by 4 DDR3 1600 megahertz now I could go for 1333 megahertz but at the same time it's actually more expensive than the 1600 so you might as well get these 1600 sticks and then just let them get underclocked. Um, we're looking at some really low latencies of 99924 with a cast, you know, at 1.5 volts. So this is basically tying the latencies of uh, G Skill Sniper Series RAM at DDR speeds of 1600 megahertz. Um, and honestly, on my H81 motherboard at 1400 megahertz, I was able to drop my timings down to 78824. Um, you know what I mean? So you can definitely try to do that. It's up to you. If not, you can keep, you can leave it at the stock timings. It's really not going to make a difference. But either way, this will get the job done. And this is at New Egg for fifty nine ninety nine on sale right now. You guys, not a bad deal at all. I actually just picked up some more RAM, so I hopefully will be getting up to sixteen gigs of RAM, and I'm going to try and overclock all of it to twenty one thirty three again. Because um, so far I've only been able to do eight gigs, but you know every set of RAM is going to be different and hopefully they'll all be able to overclock equally. So next we're going to move on to the hard drive which is just your standard SATA 6 gigabit per second, 64 megs of cache, 7200 RPM Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte hard drive at Newegg for $52.99. Not a bad deal. It's a good hard drive, it's reliable and it's more than enough space for your beginning build. Next we have the graphics card. We have the Zotac um, it says not available see similar items below but there were other stores that had it for pretty much the same price if I would have known that I would have opened up another store um, real quick I'm gonna go and uh, open up another store for you guys because apparently that one just ain't working out right so Supervis has it for a little bit more um, we're looking at about six dollars more for the one from Supervis but that's not a problem honestly six dollars more just pushes us to uh, um, you know six hundred and twenty eight dollars so not a big deal but it is the two gigabyte version um, and it is got a core clock of eleven thirty three and a boost clock of eleven hundred eleven and it's got two gigs of GDDR5 and it's a 750 Ti by Zotac honestly these cards are pretty beast these 750s they do outperform the 260 X um, by AMD's um, you know AMD's you know leveled card um, which is the 260x it does outperform it and this card can beast on games you will definitely be getting some some good um, some good value for the price for this card of course you can go a little higher but I wasn't trying to break the bank I'm not gonna make a $700 build even though this does include a monitor mouse and keyboard and uh, Windows 8 I still wanted it to be insanely cheap because I do love the budgets so I did do quite a bit of hunting Honestly, I'm pretty sure you can pick a different brand for around $130. I'm pretty sure you can get an EVGA um, 750 Ti, which I think might be clocked a little bit higher. You have to do your research, but for $128.99, we're still not looking at too big of a too big of a deal here. As far as the other one was only $122 at Newegg, but it's telling me it's not available anymore, and it it just was. So apparently they changed. Um, over the last 20 minutes. So anyways, you guys, that's the graphics card. Definitely will have you gaming. Now the case I went super budget on. I literally picked the cheapest case with USB 3.0 um, and it's coming in at $24.99 um, with free shipping at Newegg, the DIY PCMA01G black and green USB 3.0 
micro ATX mini tower gaming. So this is going to be small. It's got dual fans. It comes with one green LED fan in the front as well as one fan in the rear, which is definitely nice because it gives you that extra ventilation that you might, you know, be needing as well as it has a vented slot cover um, that you can put up for an extra fan to face your graphic card in or motherboard. Now next we have the power supply. And we're going to be grabbing it through Newegg because Newegg is, you know, the place where everybody wants to get their stuff from. So we're looking at a price of $34.99 and we have an EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified power supply. Now I like EVGA. Um, I love their power supplies. I have two of them. You know what I mean? I have a 750 gold um, G2 Supernova and then I have a 500 watt 80 plus um, efficiency so on my little brother system we have a way higher power uh, consuming graphics card as well as a pretty high overclocked Intel Pentium G as well as some pretty intense uh, we have a water cooler so we got the pump not to mention an extra fan with the one terabyte hard drive um, and the 200 millimeter fan going on in the front and we're still only maxing out at about 270 watts pool so this will definitely get the job done I have no issues recommending this to you guys because honestly I don't see a problem with it. So we're looking at Newegg for $34.99 is not a bad deal at all. So next we have the keyboard and mouse combo. Now I did actually just buy this. It is the CM Storm Devastator LED Gaming Keyboard and Mouse Combo um, by Cooler Master. It is $27.95 right now you guys. It is not a mechanical keyboard but it is a durable type tactile key. Um, that'll kind of give you the feel that you're using more of a mechanical keyboard than it would of a membrane keyboard. But of course, it's not going to be mechanical. Keep in mind, the set is only $30. So with this set, I've read the reviews. The reviews all come out to be it's worth the $30. Um, of course, there's the few people that get something that is, uh, you know, something wrong with it. And, and that's going to happen. But you can't always blame it on on uh, Newegg or anything it just shit happens you guys but overall the ratings on this were amazing I mean for $30 I did just buy one I bought the red one you can choose different colors there is blue so um, I'm gonna throw pictures up there for you guys so there's the blue one then there's the green LED one which is also very fancy schmancy looking and then there is the red one which is the one that I purchased because um, from what I was looking up and, and stuff like that the blue one um, the, the one problem that most people have with keyboard is without the LED lights on, it is really hard to see the um, pads on there, the keys. Um, but with the lights on, it's really easy to see. Now, the blue one doesn't illuminate that much. The green one, I'm not too sure because I haven't seen very many reviews. And the red one illuminates the most. Um, in a dark room, it doesn't matter which one you choose. But when, like me, I always have my lights on when I'm gaming and stuff. I don't turn them off to play games. Um, I don't get glare on my screen, so I don't have to worry about it. So I did want the red one so it would be more visible during the day and during, um, you know, well-lit situations. Now, of course, make your own choice. I will say the green one is clocking in at $29.99 with $2.99 shipping for a total of, you know, about $33. Um, I don't know why it's more expensive. It just is. But, I mean, it's only a few bucks. If you want, you can go the blue or red. And I, like I said, I did just buy this. I will be doing a little bit of an unboxing and a review for you guys to show you guys what I think about them. Anyways, we have 75 reviews with four eggs. I doubt you'll see a problem. And this is just an amazing value keyboard and mouse combo. For It's made by Cooler Master. They're trusted. This is definitely something that will get you started in your gaming. Um, there is one issue, though. Um, the drivers, this keyboard and mouse will not be supported until you install your drivers um, until basically you install your operating system. Um, these will not be noticed by your computer. They will light up, but they will not work. So you will need to, you know, scavenge for um, a mouse and a keyboard from somewhere that does work. And it's really not hard to find. You can go to the thrift store and pick up a keyboard and mouse for like 99 cents. They even sell them at the dollar store, you guys. Keyboards and like mouses, like little mini ones. Um, so you can get that to install your Windows and then update everything. And then you'll be able to use this perfectly fine. Um, next, we have the monitor. My roommate just bought this, by the way. I was actually debating on buying it myself. We're looking at the Acer K242HL Black 24-inch, 6 millisecond timing, widescreen LED backlit LCD monitor. Um, <clears throat> this is a 
1920 by 1080p, 6 millisecond, which is a little high. Don't get me wrong. The 6 is a little high, but if you're a beginner gamer, you are not going to notice. This is a 24-inch monitor for $110. It says 120 right here, but uh, pay no attention to the 120 because there is a promo code right there. That's um, basically saying you put that promo code in, you get it for 110. And I know this is a fact because I just did it. Um, I liter we literally just bought this. Um, and I, like I said, I was thinking about buying another one. And it does come with what I always like to have is the DVI connection. Um, I don't like HDMI. It tricks your graphics card into thinking it should be putting out sound. And it just makes, um, if you have real tech audio on your motherboard and stuff, it just makes it really annoying to set up the proper audio and honestly I just like DVI better than um, HDMI because DVI does not carry sound so it doesn't confuse your graphics card or confuse real tech audio or whatever the hell happens I've already been having this issue with my brother's computer and my roommate's computer because they both have real tech audio so um, keep that in mind the DVI is definitely the best way to go um, you can use HDMI if you want you're not gonna really see a problem now <clears throat> like I said with the six millisecond timing you won't notice a difference if you're a beginner even I have some friends that have been gaming for the last 10 freaking years on PC and they they can't tell the difference honestly they really can't now you're gonna have some people out there that tell you that they can tell the difference but um I don't know how you can tell the difference of four milliseconds like that is really a really really small window of opportunity to be able to tell the difference now as a new gamer you won't and honestly for a hundred dollars for this monitor it is a steal i paid 180 for mine granted mine has a little more features and a little bit better with color and stuff but this is tilt adjustable which is a great feature to have and like i said for 110 even if you don't buy the rest of the computer get this monitor or even if you don't want the monitor keyboard mouse and windows get the computer it's only 400 bucks anyways you guys we're going to move on this is from new egg like i said 110 dollars i'll put all the links in the description for you guys next we have your um <clears throat> your operating system so we have windows 8 64 bit um upgrades to 8.1 for free but it's just windows 8 regularly and obviously if you guys have windows 8 it'll let you upgrade to 8.1 for free no problem um we're at 69.99 from trinitysoftwaredistribution.com. This is the cheapest place that I could find it. There might be better deals out there. If you guys don't trust this, go to Newegg. I think they have Windows 8 or fries.com um, or NCIX. One of those three places have Windows 8 for sale for around 80 bucks if you don't trust this website. But honestly, I don't see why you wouldn't trust this website. Um, it's, you know what I mean? They look pretty legit, Trinity Software Distribution. And they also have a number you can call if you guys want to call and make sure that you're getting what you want but this is basically your operating system so there you have it you guys six hundred and twenty dollars and that is all you need for a monster gaming PC get on your savings from your paychecks stop buying your friends presents screw your friends and family they don't need presents you need a gaming computer um, if you don't have a job beg your mom tell your mom hey mom what the fuck I need a computer I mean 610 bucks you're getting a monitor you're getting a keyboard and mouse and and you're getting you're getting your software along with the entire computer that can game at 1080p no problem and handle that 24 inch monitor now this like I said is just amazing overall for 600 bucks you're getting the full package um, I spent way more on my stuff granted I have a higher end system higher end monitor but I mean if you want to go my route you're looking upwards about 1200 bucks um, give or take a few hundred um, probably end up giving a few hundred by the way um, but overall like I said complete build for you guys there this is my holiday budget build this is Steven with all talk on and I will catch you guys later